Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is the weekend Sunday, and we're back with Q&A Sunday. So a chance for um, you guys to send in those questions and for me to sit down and answer them. So thanks very much for doing so. Please be sure to submit some more uh, for next week. You can do that over at thetruebrits.com. Click on Q&A Sunday, send, bash, done. Uh, so we have some more FIFA 14 online action. Belgium, I love Belgium. I'm there again playing Paris Saint-Germain. Now the guy I played... I didn't realise, but he played about 700 games online. Ridiculous amount, but he wasn't very good. He was trying to spam the ball over the top all the time. And uh, this was really my first game back from like a week's absence. So I was a little bit rusty, and I try and walk the ball in. So, uh, yeah, it's not the greatest. And, you know, I've played about 30 online games, so no way near the same. I've only lost one of those. I've drawn about four, and I think I've won the rest. So uh, I've got a decent record online. But anyway, back into the questions. We're going to get things rolling with Brandon Scott, and he says, Hi, TTB. Uh, I'm a massive fan of yours and your videos. Keep it up. Thanks very much. Uh, I want to be a commentator when I'm older. Can you give me any tips and advice? Plus, where do you think United will finish this season? All right, so the first question. Uh, I did answer this a, a while ago, but I think commentating is something, you know, you've got to practice just like anything. Practice is important. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. If you guys have seen my videos at the beginning... Is an early goal. Lovely finish by Mertens. Um, you would have seen I was very boring back then. It was monotonous. And, and people were saying my commentary was good back then. When it was absolutely awful. If I'm being honest with you. So you've got to put on a voice that people are going to listen to. It's not, you know, I don't put on a specific voice. Although it, I do talk differently when I'm commentating. Because I'm more into the game. That's another thing. You've got to be enthusiastic. You can't just be sitting there going through the motions. People are going to find it boring. The more excitement, the more drama you put into the game, the better it's going to be. That's why Pez's commentary is, is poor and it sucks. And it makes the game feel boring when you listen to uh, John Champion and that. Because they're just there's no enthusiasm. It's, it's pathetic, really. And it hasn't improved. So sit down, practice, try not to be nervous. You're going to be a little bit nervous the first few times you do it. But eventually you get used to it. And it will just become, you know, second nature. And, uh, you know... That's basically it. Just practice. Don't sit there saying ums and ahs. You can't be doing that when you're doing uh, commentaries. You can when you're sitting here talking to a camera. Fine, that's respectable. But when you're doing an actual video commentary on a match, you can't be doing umming and ahs. People are not going to enjoy it. So practice, be exciting, be different, and uh, I'm sure you'll do fine. And then secondly, uh, where do I think United will finish? I think top three this year. I think they can do it. You know, they were seventh last year, so it can't get much worse, if any. But I think they have a chance to pick up a couple of big players. Louis van Gaal's a, a fantastic manager. We've seen that already with the pre-season pre matches. So I think it's going to be a, a good season for United. And I'm thinking top three. That's what I'm thinking. What do you guys reckon? Let me know in the comments. A good question. All right, next up from Frankie Marzinho says, uh, Favourite food and drink um i don't really have a favor i mean i've got options i like to to eat you know a bacon sandwich which is pretty boring but a fry up bacon eggs sausage beans love that fish and chips is always good steak i love steak chicken's always nice lamb is beautiful although lamb is so expensive over here but we rarely ever have it so i don't think i have a favorite food but something like that would always suit me and a favourite drink, you know, I, I drink a lot of water. I just don't do the whole sodas and uh, fizzy drinks anymore. I used to, used to do a lot of them, but don't really drink them anymore. Shirley Temple was my drink back in the day. Just go to the restaurant, say, yeah, I'll have a Shirley Temple, love. She would give it to me, lovely. Uh, don't drink a whole lot of beer, which is, you know, maybe unusual considering I'm from England. But, uh, you know, I, I left when I was 16, so I was never really down the pub. I never really got into the whole drinking scenario so just not a big beer drinker so i'd say water favorite drink which is pretty boring but there we have it all right next up from techno guy says can you do a fifa 15 wish list yes i can and uh, it's been done so check it out on the channel if you haven't already all right from uh, michael crew a long time fan and follow i always see him on videos big respect to you 
Uh, he says, would you rather have David Luiz's hair, Ronaldo's body, or David Beckham's honours? What excited you most in the transfer window? Thanks, been subbed to you for so long now. Good stuff. Okay, so uh, David Luiz's hair, or David Luiz's hair. No, I wouldn't want that. Just like Fellaini. I mean, I don't know what these guys are trying to do. But, I mean, they've got so much money, these footballers, and they can't even trim off a big bush. I mean, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make a unique trademark so everyone knows who they are. Like, who's David Luiz? He's the guy with a big bush. Ah, I know who he is. But it, it just looks ridiculous. I wouldn't want that. Ronaldo's body, um, no, because I honestly probably have a better body than him. But, you know, I work out more than him. So I wouldn't need that. And then David Beckham's honours, yes, I'd take them. You know, why not? David Beckham is... Uh, well known all around the globe. I mean, he wasn't the best player in the world when he was around. He was known for his ridiculous free kicks and bending and crossing. You know, bending like Beckham sums it up. But everyone knows him. You know, it doesn't matter if you watch football or not. If you're female or you're male. Whatever. It doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter. Everyone knows David Beckham. Simple as that. So, I would take Beckham's honours. And who am I most excited for in the transfer window? There's been a couple of big ones so far. You know, Diego Costa for Chelsea, Fabregas as well, although he, you know, he sort of disappeared. Should never have left Arsenal, really. And then I think Luis Suarez, probably the biggest one, if I'm being honest right now. I'm just going to be interesting to see what he can do because having him, Messi and Neymar next season up top and then, you know, Real Madrid have got Rodriguez, Ronaldo, Bale trying to buy Falcao. It's going to be mental, absolutely mental with them two teams going at it. So I think right now, Luis Suarez, massive buy, and uh, we could see big things from him. And let me know in the comments who you guys think is the biggest transfer so far. All right, next up from Football's Life, got quite a few questions here. It says, hi, TTV, a couple of questions. Number one, do you think Ronaldo's strikes in pairs are too hard? Yes, <laughs> I do. They're, it doesn't matter if you're sprinting with Ronaldo, dribbling, whether you have a defender up your ass, it doesn't matter. He can still strike the ball on Pez like there's no one near him. And it is way overpowered, so that does need to be toned down. Um, number two, what do you think Man United needs this season? They need to bring back that fear factor. It's what they didn't have last season. Um, you know, Fletcher summed it up in an interview the other night pre-season match said there was no fear factor last season old trafford people came there they weren't scared of us we're going to bring that back this season which they need to need to step it up again the counter-attacking football that we used to love that went out the window we played very narrow last season because david moyes insisted on playing so many central midfielders and no width which never worked so i think united just need to go back to old ways and i think that can happen with louis van Hout. Uh, number three, do you th sometimes think about posting tutorials on YouTube? Yes, um, I have thought about it, but I'm not going to do one now just because it's too late. But for PES 15 and FIFA 15, probably will uh, be putting out some, some you know, tutorials. What you guys want to see, you know, crossing or defending is obviously important. But defending on PES is, is one of those things this year. They don't give you much freedom. I hate defending on PES. I love defending on FIFA. It's the reason why I do so well online, because most people can't defend. I can. I don't go running around like a headless chicken. I keep my shape, and, uh, you know, I try and play the possession game. So, sorry if I keep licking my lips. My mouth's really dry for some reason. Uh, but, yeah, I'm probably going to be posting tutorials for the next iteration. And uh, number four, do you think the injuries in the England squad cause them to drop out of the World Cup? Um, what injuries? What are we talking about? Not really, to be honest with you. They were just crap, very much like Italy. Just weren't good enough. I mean, if you go to the World Cup, injuries or not, France had injuries. Ribéry wasn't there and, and other players. They still got far. So, no, it's just they didn't play well enough. Got outclassed. Simple as that. And then, P.S., I can't access your channel on YouTube, only your videos. Well, that's strange. Um, try typing in youtube.com slash the true Brits. Should come up. That's not my problem. That's YouTube. So sorry about that. All right, but good questions. Next up, we have Oscar. It says, how much do you hate, dislike Man City as a United fan? Keep up the great videos. Um, I don't really hate anyone. I'm not one of these fans that get really pissed off and, and annoyed. At, I don't know. How, I miss that. I pressed chip for some reason. Instead of pressing square, I, I pressed L1 as well. Always do that. So, yeah, I don't really hate Man City. I mean, I hate them in the sense that I don't want them to win the league. 
you know, but I don't really hate them, hate them, and I enjoy playing as them on FIFA and, and Peds. It's not like I won't play them just because they're my rivals, so I'm not one of these guys that really cares too much about disliking teams. I just want my team to do well, you know, and, and if teams play good football, I've got respect for you, you know what I mean? If it asks like Arsenal, they play lovely one-touch, two-touch football. You know, I don't hate them because they play well, so you've got to give respect to them as well. All right, next up from Hollow Gaming it says, Hey, TTV, number one, a couple of more questions here. First off, what's your opinion on KSI? Oh, the old KSI debate. Uh, I don't watch him, honestly. I, I think he's a little, he just doesn't suit me. I'm not interested in anything he puts out. I honestly think he's very immature. And uh, yeah, how he's got where he has got, no idea. You know, he used to do FIFA, now he just puts out whatever. So if you enjoy him going, yeah, this is KSI. You know, that's fine. I honestly just don't enjoy his content. Some people may get offended by that. I'm sorry, but, you know, it's just not for me. Uh, two, what was your favorite memory from the ISS Pez days? Oh, so many memories. So many memories. Um, I don't really know. I, I, I used to sit down. I remember the Pez. I think it was Pez 1, 2, 3. Play masterly for hours. I'd sit down for like five hours and just play training mode, match after match. I think memories of it probably would be going to my school, high school, and uh, we all played Pez, and everyone thought they were good. I sat down, and I won every match against everyone. I, I think the biggest win was 11-0. I won one match 5-0 against some guy who thought he was amazing. So that was a great memory. I was just basically destroying everyone, and I got people addicted to Pez, which was, uh, which was good fun. And finally, number three, what was the worst game you've ever played? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't really... He got lucky there. I don't know how that nearly went in, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't really play that many bad games. Brink... I bought Brink, and that turned out to be crap. That looked good, and it turned out to be shambles. So, that's probably up there as a pretty darn bad game. But I don't really buy very bad games. I always really look at reviews and, and kind of wait, so... There we have it. So there we have it. Thanks for asking the questions and have a good week. Also, greetings from Pluto. Pluto? Mental. All right. Thanks very much. All right. We're running out of time here. A couple of minutes to spare. Next up from FCP Dragon. Says, hey, TTV, do you think Man United will win the league? And what do you think of Inter Milan recent performances in Serie A? Great vids, by the way. Um, I think they have a chance of winning the league. Why not? I think any of the teams. Arsenal, City, Man U. Chelsea, I don't think Liverpool are going to do it this year. They lost Suarez. It's a big hit. And uh, Inter Milan, I don't really watch a whole lot of City A. I still don't know why Vidic left. I don't think Inter Milan are better than United. I mean, I know why he left. He made the decision to leave a while ago because he wasn't happy with Moyes. And then he didn't know that Louis van Gaal was going to come in and step in and, and replace him. So, you know, but it's a good signing for Inter because he's a fantastic defender. And, uh, you know, hoping to do well this season, no question. All right, next up from Come On You Spurs says, uh, question one, do you think, uh, what do you think has been the biggest transfer so far? Answer that, I'd say Luis Suarez. And number two, how long do you think it will take for Van Gaal to win his first major trophy at United? Uh, by the way, keep up with the amazing commentary and videos. Thank you very much. Uh, his first trophy this season. I think he'll win something this season. FA Cup, maybe which they never do well in. But I think, I, I'm going to say, mark my words, this season they're going to win something. He's going to come in and take the world by storm. All right, next up from David says, Hello, TTB. Love your videos. Who do you think Spain, uh, why do you think Spain lost and what was needed? Um, they're playing too like they want to play. They don't, you know, Van, what's his name? Bosque doesn't want to change the way everyone else is playing. You can't play possession, possession, possession anymore. It doesn't work. Look at Germany. It's all about counter-attacking, physical attacking football. That's how you win games. And Spain want to try and, you know, thread the ball through, thread it through a needle every time instead of having a shot, putting it in the back of the net and basically just getting on with it. So I think they struggled and that was a problem. They're going to be massive changes for them next season, let me tell you that, or next Euros World Cup. So see a lot of changes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We are all done and dusted. Submit some more questions for next week. Uh, head over to the True Brits. If I didn't answer yours, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do them through order, uh, but I'll answer them soon. But until next time, take care.